Hello everyone, uh, this is Michael Huang from Yetis and Machetes and basically showing you how I do the editing and everything for the videos on this channel. So basically I have dual monitors on right now, I'm not recording, you can see my mouse go to the other side of it, but basically this is the making of the video you're going to be putting up soon. So what you want to do is you just going to put all of your footage into this one and then what I'm not doing is I'm just putting a template right out here and this is basically the dubstep baby video of you guys know. I'm basically just gonna I have on a separate piece of paper all these times cut out like 3.5, 1.8, 1.8 and just example I got the 9.07 I'm just gonna snip it in there and this is the one with the effect in so you just basically want to get a feel of the song so listen through a few times watch the video and you can figure out what you want to do with it and whenever you do this you usually want to mute the audio I already did it for you so Basically, after you do that, you can change all the settings right here. I like it how it is right now. It's just nice and simple, but you can change the exposure, saturation, and other levels of that. The, but you don't have to really change the volume of the um, video because it has the dubstep over. So yeah, I'm right now making this as the introduction to the video. I'm going to probably add a, one of our songs afterwards, but let's see. We can just trim out the part for the intro. We can do the scene where we're walking up the stairs, which is right here. And that's the very beginning of it, which is the 3.5 seconds, so I can probably cut to where... Right here's a good time. And you can start it right here. Once you get a feel for 3.5 seconds, you can just pause it. It tells you right there the duration of it. So the easiest way to do it is just spam your right right or left keys and it'll just show you exactly. So you want to go back a few times. Boom, so four. Right there. And we got 3.25. So oh we need 3.55 bad. There we go. Should be right. Uh, it doesn't have to be perfect because once you just add that to the conversion list and you convert it, y yeah, it doesn't matter how long it is because once you put it into the template, it automatically just cuts it down however it is. And if you ever want to change where you are, even after you um, export it, you can change it from this little thing over here. So it's not really that big of a deal. You just cut it up to make it easier for you to change it up later. So you're going to probably hear the audio from my mic and sounds so. The classic go go be here. Here's the baby. So you just want to keep changing throughout the thing, and then once the drop happens, it's gonna be pretty sick. Of it. That was pretty cool. That's my guess. You could say that. And that's gonna be basically the introduction. I'm gonna add basically footage of us actually playing afterwards. But this filler is just gonna be random things that I could think of. So yeah, tracks with it. All right. So yeah, that's basically how these things work. It's pretty simple. It's actually very straightforward, and it's really awesome how GoPro gave me this free because Sony Vegas and my uh, other thing was just a little bit more complex. Well, not complex, but this is just very simple because it goes straight from the conversion from GoPro, and has really good optimizations when you finally export the file. It gives you like the easy 1080. I mean, all of them do that, but it exports really, really quick compared to the other ones. I don't think it takes 70% of my disk card drive compared to like 100% of all my other ones. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you have any questions, just leave it in the comments below. All right, have a good day.